Well, here we are in Jamaica and we are going to be cooking tostones. Did I say that right? <laughs> you did, you did. Tostones and I'm cooking with Arian. And you're Arian, right? I am Arian. Not Ashley? No. Okay, Arian. Arian. We are cooking tostones. And what is tostones? Tostones is really an, a Spanish dish where it's really just green plantain fried. Green plantain fried, but in yeah. Spain, not Spanish. Spain. In Spanish speaking countries. Spanish speaking countries. Yes. And you are half Cuban. Cuban. So she is half Cuban, yes. which speaks Spanish. Yeah. And they cook green plantain mm -hmm. um, and they call it tostones. tostones. Show us the green plantain you have. So this is our green plantain. Well, one of them. One. One. Okay. We're going to make three. We're going to use three of these to okay. make tostones. So, what is the first thing we need to do? First thing we need to do is take the skin off of the banana. Well, you can wash it first. We're going to wash it first and then take the skin off of the banana. Banana or plantain? Plantain. Plantain, kids. Plantain. Yeah. Plantain. <laughs> and it must be real green. The green yeah, one. the greener the better. But the not, not yellow. Not the yellow Not one. yellow. Not ripe plantain. No. The green one. Yes. So the greener, the better. Yes. So we're going to now go to wash our plantain mm -hmm. and then cut our plantain. Yes. And then... And then we're just going to fry it until it's... Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's do this, that bit first. So we now going. We are going to go and wash. So come with us. Okay. So now we are going to be washing. So wash. It doesn't have to be that good because you're going to take off the skin anyway. Okay. And um, by the way, hi everybody. It's me Janelle here. I'm watching them. Okay. okay. So I'm going to cut the top here. And then I'm going to cut the bottom. And I'm going to take a smaller knife. And we're going to cut in the groove. So it's easier to take off the skin. So we're taking off all the skins. Yep. So you cut in the groove. Normally Brittany over there would help us do this. So normally Brittany is the one who would help us Hi do guys. that. <laughs> Here we have Ariane and Brittany um, taking the peel off the plantain before they get ready to do the next stage, which is to cook the plantain. And remember, we're doing tostones. It's a Spanish dish um, in any Spanish-speaking country. We'll be doing tostones. I'm looking forward to eating some tostones. So now you have your plantain. Uh, all green and cut and cut Whew. now we're going to cut them into slices like slices like this a decent amount so they're like that and everyone kids be careful with the knife use yes. adult supervision <laughs> very much so because we don't want you to cut yourself no we do not You can cut them kind of thick, you don't want them to be thin. So like this one is kind of thicker and this one is a bit too thin, if you can tell. So how much uh, people would this feed? It depends on who's mm. eating them, truly. Okay. So for you, this so, is just one meal. Um, I can eat this all up because it's kind of like a snack. But people, you tend, you can have this with like rice and like an actual meal, and you can have like three of these, maybe five of these for a person, if they want more. If if it's an appetizer, people tend to serve maybe five per person again. So yeah, it depends on who's having them. Okay. But it tends to be around five for a person. So like one one planting can be enough or half of a planting can be enough. What do you mean person. five pieces of Yeah, five vegetables. pieces. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, not five planting. No. <laughs> okay, right. Alright, so this is our cut stuff. So let me cut this one in half. Those are the cut plantains. Everyone. Yeah, that's good. I'm just cutting some of these yeah. small bits. They're, they're not too thin. They're not too they're not thick. Supposed to be. Okay. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, almost finished that stage where we have our 
plantain we cut them remember it's a green plantain mm -hmm. cut um, yeah, we're the green plantain washed peeled and cut okay so the next stage is frying them so we're going to put some oil in the pot remember that you want this the oil to be already like somewhat warm not necessarily cold not necessarily like popping you <laughs> so you guys going to put that there what type of oil do you use uh here we have vegetable oil but um it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you use uh, but you might not want to use um olive oil because it has like a lot of flavor so yeah can you do it this baked? Baked? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be too stunning for this. What would it be? Baked <laughs> green plantain. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I've never tried to, so I don't really know. I've never seen them. Now, now we're just going to start putting some of them in. Slowly but surely. Please don't pop. Okay, cool. <laughs> when it's not popping, you know it's fine because it's not supposed to pop. You're supposed to be able to put them in pretty easily. We're going to use a fork because we don't want to burn ourselves. Yes, everyone, please. You need, kids, you need supervision, adult supervision for this part. Very important. Oof. Try not to make them touch each other because then it will just stick together. And that's not very good now, is it? No, no, it's not. So you say, okay, you say that you can have this with rice or just. You're gonna have this with anything and everything. Okay. We're going to wait until those are fried, well, like half fried, and then we're going to flip them, take them out of the pot, smash them, and then put them back in there. Stick around. Okay. Fun fact. Tostones is a word derived from the word toast or to toast. Yes, fun fact. The origin of the dish is quite mystifying, apparently. We're making a mysterious dish, guys. Some of it believe it was, is a, some people believe it is a dish from Latin American cuisine, whereas some people believe it's a Caribbean dish. So, yeah. Yeah. Who invented Tostones? Her name is Donia Angelina. Yes, Donia Angelina. So we're making Donia Angelina's recipe. Okay, so most people believe that Tostones are Puerto Rican. However, the ori the actual origin is still unclear. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna try a fruit, and you have to guess. Okay. You can take these off. So, what fruit is this? What fruit is this? It looks like this at the top and at the bottom. What fruit is this? Tell us in the comments and you might win a prize. You you might. might. We're flipping the tostones now, kids. Yes. Because, you know, both sides need to be equal. Everyone, so. Flipped. Yes, they're flipped. They look brown. They look golden. They look like. Golden ashes. I don't know what Golden I said. Brown yes, hash browns. <laughs> they look beautiful, amazing, lovely, yumptious, scrumptious. I don't know what if it's going to taste good to me. So, and now we're going to get do another food that you have to guess. So, what is this food? It looks like this at the top and this at the bottom. What is the food? If you listen, you can hear a little noise and you can feel something in it. But what is the fruit? Okay. Guess in the comments. So we're going to take these out really quickly because they're about to burn. Ooh, one. That's one. Let's use a fork to make our lives easier, kids. Yes! <laughs> So now you can use one of those, they're specific like Tostones mashers or you can, like you can buy in the store but <laughs> I didn't buy that. So what you can also do if you don't have that is to get like a flat jar or any like flat surface that is hard enough and you can just mash it with this. So now I have this jar and I'm going to take one by one and mash them each like separately. I'm going to move these over a bit. 
so you can see. I'm going to be mashing this one first. Ooh. And mash it. Ooh. Like that. This one's finished. Just let me get a bowl. Put these in when they're done so you have more space. I'm going to put that over right there. You don't want them to be too squashed. But just good enough. Not too flat. Just decent enough. We haven't mashed all of them yet, but the pot can't hold that much, so we're going to put these that we've already mashed in the pot. So we're going to put them in corn by corn. So you put them in, you, you mash them and put them in again to fry? Yeah, to finish frying. Because remember, the first time around, they're not completely fried. And that's another reason why we make them thicker than thin. Than thin. So that the inside still has frying room. Okay, we're going to wait until those are fried. Take those out, etc. We're going to mash these in the meantime though. So since they're already half fried, we're just going to let them fry a little bit more to the point where the, out, where the rest of it is also brown. And then we're going to flip them and take them out and then they're ready. Just a little sprinkle of salt and then they're fine. We're going to take, start taking them out now. And putting them on the plate. Let's move this over here. Um, you want to put them on a napkin so that the oil drains off onto the napkin so you're not having too much oil. At the end of the day, too much oil isn't good for you. So we're just going to try to reduce the amount of oil that we intake, yes? And then we're going to just take a sprinkle of salt and put it on the just on it itself. So do you um, serve it salt only? yeah pretty much pepper no not really no pepper just salt because it's been it can be eaten with anything else really so it's just like a side. it's basically for planting chips but like gourmet <laughs> or like 2.0 so it's a sprinkle of salt Ooh. and then that's your finished product we have here for Sonic. So here you have it. We have made tostones, yeah. Spanish dish, which is uh, made. Mm, these are really nice, kids. Made from, um, made from planting. Green planting, tostones. Are lovely. So this is from me, Craig, and Ariane, Ariane. from Jamaica. Tostones for you. Biscuit style. Biscuit style. <laughs> Until then. Oh, what are and we before we go, I need to tell everyone. Before we go, I think we should tell everyone the the fruit, what the fruit's name were. Okay. We? Okay. Okay. So, if you didn't guess this right, this one was sour sap. Sweet sap. I mean sweet sap. Let's say it again. Sweet sap. Sweet sap. Sop. 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 Tell, you say them. Tell them. This one. Well, sweet sop. Sweet sop, kids. And inside, <coughs> have some nice juicy seeds. Mmm, yummy. And next one, and this one is called, do you know what it's called, Janelle? Um. Can I stand up and tell us? Stinky foot. I mean, stinky feet. <laughs> stinking toe. In Jamaica, we call it stinking toe. toe. But it smells disgusting. But it tastes really nice, and it's called in a, it's, its real name. It's its official name is called locust, like the locust that you hear about in the Bible. But it's locust, <coughs> and uh, it's very hard shell. You crack it, it really smells awful, but it smells stinky. It smells stinky. stinky. That's why it's called stinky foot. Stinky toe. Okay. 
is thinking to Which I can think of your name. <laughs> Do you want to say it's not a stone then? Not a stone. Here, this is a small one. Yeah. Bye kids. It was fun working with you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.